Hi, Taurus. Happy birthday. I'm here with your first half of May. Uh, astrology and tarot. And we're just going to talk about it. But first, I ask the ancestors, I ask the spirit guides to join me here now so that I would speak only truth, speak only wisdom to you. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I am using the African-American tarot deck. Um, I love this tarot deck. I find it absolutely amazing. Um, I, I love it just for uh, divination purposes. I use the, um, for meditation, I use the Rider Waite tarot deck because <clears throat> the symbolism that was put on the cards was specifically for that. And I would advise anyone who is trying to raise their vibration, go to a higher level, get some freedom, come into contact with their higher self, meditate using the right away tarot cards. Amazing. So in the first half of May, on May 4th, happy birthday to the Taurians. We have a new moon and that is the black moon and that is happening on uh, May 4th. And this is such a beautiful time. It's going to be at 14 degrees of Taurus. And so for us, because I'm a Taurian, I'm a Taurus son as well. For us, this is going to be affecting us uh, in an all over area, all over life. So, of course, when the sun comes back into your sign, it brings this the essence of newness, of new birth, because it is a time of your solar return where the sun is returning. And then the moon being there as well uh, in the shadow of the sun as the black moon, first card out, as the black moon, it is a time for reset. It is a time... Uh, for us to just embrace this energy. Well, the sun represents the, the, the Ra type energy, R-A. And I'm thinking about Ra of Egypt, which is this brilliant, bright star that brings this powerful energy and insight. You know, the, the ancients um, and the, the hermetics, they associate uh, hermeticists, they associate uh, the sun with um, the energy, the understanding of sight, having clear sight. And so when the sun returns to its place where it was when you were born, the death card, hmm. Returns to the place where it was when you were born, back to your sign, it is a time for you to see yourself more clearly. And then associated with the black moon. You know, the moon, the moon represents uh, what is familiar. It represents what brings us emotional comfort. And so the moon and the sun coming together there at 14 degrees. Uh, in numerology, the number 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. Bringing in change, bringing in transformation. Um, that's the time that it is. You know, and Uranus, of course, Uranus. We've been talking about this. Everybody is is all a buzz about it. That Uranus is in the sign of Taurus, and rightfully so, because Uranus is lightning change. Uranus is this pure spirit of rebellion that will not go along with the program, not go along with the plan, and is breaking up that stubbornness that is Taurus. It's bringing in this fresh new energy uh, for us. And if we resist it, 
it'll bring more upheaval than necessary. The change is going to happen. But if we resist it, then it brings more trauma and pain. So this is a time uh, during the new moon, during the black moon, uh, to reflect. You know, the new moon, the actual new moon comes in two or three days after the black moon. So, you know, if you are a person who does your uh, spell work, um, if you want to do spell work exactly on the black moon and during the time that the sun is in your sign, this is a very powerful time for release during the black moon. You know, this is a time where you can, con you know, contact um, the spirit of the mother, the spirit of the moon, contact the spirit of the mother and release that which is no longer working for you. It's a time where you can um, tap in uh, doing a ritual perhaps with your candles or whatever it is that you are called to do. If there is something that has been lingering for years and you know it's time to let it go, this is a brilliant time for you to go ahead and release during, the, during that black moon. And then in the new moon, you can set your set your uh, intentions for what it is that you want to come in fresh and new after you have released what is no longer working. I love that. So the cards that we have out right now, first card is the emperor. I love it. You are in your power. Look at him. He is on his throne. He is sitting on his throne. He knows who he is. He is in his authority. And he is stable. Like a Taurus. Even though Taurus is going through this upheaval with Uranus, there is this understanding and knowing of self. And authority. And standing in it. And look at the animals that go before him. You see the elephant. The elephant is understood as uh, having uh, the memory. Uh, there is the maternal energy with that elephant. The matriarch leads the pack to water and to food. That elephant remembers everything for decades as to how to lead those who are coming behind her. And we have here this lion. And it's understood that in the jungle, in, in the forest, you know, in Africa, all of the animals follow the lion, follow the, uh, follow the elephant, even the lion. You know, the, the elephant has no enemies. The lion, of course, it represents strength. It represents boldness. Um, but the but the lion follows the elephant when it wants water and when it wants food, and so do all of the other animals. And so that is leading and directing you, challenging you to tap in to your DNA, tap in to what it is that you know, tap in to the ancestors um, that will help you remember how to lead, to take your place as a leader. Take your place. The second card is the death card, transformation. The people that were around, the people that were always around you probably will not understand the transformation that you were going through. But transformation is uh, inevitable because Uranus is in your sign. So the way that you used to be when it's all said and done, when Uranus has completed its uh, transformation, it's transit through the sign of Taurus for the next seven years, all types of changes will have happened with you and for you and in you and through you. The things that you used to like, you are shedding down. Not only that, we have uh, this Saturn is in the sign of Capricorn right now and uh, at 20 degrees and 
um, Pluto is there, retrograde, and Saturn is retrograde. They're traveling backwards, what appears to be traveling backwards. And they are bringing change. Pluto is the Lord of death, the Lord of transformation. Pluto asks us to excrete, not ask, causes us to excrete what is no longer working. The south node of the moon is there with these two, with Saturn and Pluto. So what is not working is dying. It is leaving. Old ways of thinking and believing are passing away. What you used to hold as truth, what you used to hold on to staunchly as the right way, as what it is I should be doing and what daddy did, the patriarchal is Capricorn, and what it used to be and what it was is passing away, no longer working. But you see, she holds fire in her hand. She controls it. She's ready to transform. So transformation is here for you. It's challenging. It's challenging to change, especially for a fixed sign like you, Taurus. But it's going to be good. All of the people around you will be looking up. They will have some confusion about the change and the transition that you are going through. But they will be blessed by it nonetheless. Because when they see you change, when they see you grow, then they are inspired to, to grow, to go and grow themselves. When you take your place as the leader, and lead the pack, lead the charge, sit in your authority. And when you do, there is stability, there is groundedness, there is a happy home, there is peace in your home. But it cannot come until the change is made, until you take your place and walk in truth. So Capricorn, the south node of the moon, is there in the sign of Capricorn. This is the Ace of Wands. New beginnings. The way you have been moving and the things that you have been doing, the very root of change is here. First part of May. The very root of change is here. On May 10th, Mercury will meet up. On May 7th, I'm sorry. On May 7th, Mercury is going to meet up with uh, Uranus in the sign of Taurus. And for you, here again, brilliance of ideas coming in for you. Ideas that you have never had before. The ones you've been waiting on that can change your life and bring you prosperity. And bring you the things that you have wanted. The question is, is that when it does come, will you accept the idea and will you move out on it? Everything is here for you. Everything is here for you to do just that. Everything is here for you to do just that. To move out in your strength, in your power, and in your authority. Your ancestors are with you to help you accomplish this goal. Mars is in the sign of Gemini, giving you a brilliance of thought, helping you to move in this new direction. Helping you to move in this new direction. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, and it is from this particular deck, which is the Mystical Shaman Oracle. I love this deck so much. I love it. I use it every day. Um, use it every single day to get uh, the wisdom. The wisdom from spirit. The wisdom from ancestors. From our ancestors to speak. So I ask now that the ancestors would speak. Share a word for Taurus. Those who are called to listen to this message. Those who this um, message is for, please share with me clearly. During this season of major transition for us all, but in particular for those with the Taurus sun and the Taurus moon and the Taurus rising. For those 
I ask you to speak clearly, dear ancestors and spirit guides. Share with them, share with us what it is that we need to know. Share with us what it is that Taurus needs to know. Speak truth and speak clear. Speak truth and speak clear for the first half of May. Speak true and speak clear for the first half of May. I always wait for the cards to jump. I don't I don't choose a card because I know that spirit knows how to cause the card to jump. The first card is Earth. I'm only going to take the one. About five cards jump. But this was the first one that came. And this is Earth. Being grounded. Being solid. Going into Earth. Knowing that you, Taurus, are Earth. And grounded. And you are the stability. And though you are going through upheavals and changes because of the transits, because of Uranus uh, in your sign, changing things and that energy in Capricorn causing that which no longer um, is serving you to leave, you are still Earth and you are still the grounding for those around you and the grounding for yourself is you connecting back with Mother Earth, connecting with spirit here on Earth, knowing that when the smoke clears, you are the stability. You are fixed and you hold the summer season. That is your gift and that is who you are. Mother Earth is with, with you during this change. Through all of this transition, the ground is still solid beneath you. The ground is still solid beneath you. The ground is still solid beneath you. No matter all of the changes, you land on your feet. All right. I thank you so much for listening. Again, I am Leticia. If you want to contact me, all of my information is listed below in the video. Thank you.